I've talked a little bit about religious trauma syndrome, RTS, and now I'd kind of like to ch turn the page and talk about the things that I've discovered in working with people, and I'm talking about quite a few people over a long period of time, and the things that seem to go into recovery and getting better. And I don't mean this to sound like a formula. I'm not going to make it into another religion. <laughs> Please don't misunderstand. And I am not any kind of a guru. But these are just things that seem to be important. So um, what I'm saying now is basically there's good news. Lots of people have been through this. You do not have to suffer for decades. And so I'm just going to mention eight things that seem to be really important. And uh, if you can take uh, this information and apply it somehow to what you're going through, then please adapt it and make it personal for you. The first one I call get real. And this means be honest about whether your religion is working for you. Is it something that you really want to stay in? Or is it something that is time to Time to say, I'm ready to move on. Is there an abuse cycle going on that needs to stop? Do you need to know more about that? And if so, is it time to leave this alternate reality and get on with your life? So that, that part is not easy. This is actually the first very big step, is just to get real. The second step is get a grip. And this means don't panic. The terror that you may feel right now is part of the indoctrination. It serves the religious system to teach you that you're going to suffer, you're going to go to hell later, or you're going to suffer right now if you leave. It's built into every closed authoritarian system to threaten you about what's going to happen when you leave. This is called phobia indoctrination. So relax. If you can, there are a lot of people that have been through this, you're going to be okay. The third thing is get informed. And this means, hey, nobody is controlling your information anymore. You do not have to limit yourself to the scripture or, or Christian literature or Islamic literature or whatever it is that you've been told you have to limit yourself to. Read. Read philosophy, read history, read science, read everything and er anything. And in particular, read the history of your scripture. Read the history of how the Bible got put together. You, you can stop reading the Bible, read about the Bible, and read about the church. And find out you know, where all of this came from and get yourself more informed. Um, and don't feel guilty about that. You, are really, you really have a right to all the information you want. Um, and it can be a lot of fun as well. And the fourth thing is get well get, and get help with that. You do have wounds and there has been some spiritual abuse. And to recognize that and to know that there's some healing that needs to happen, you need to release the talks. We have a, a support group called Release and Reclaim. That might be an option. Releasing old toxic beliefs and reclaiming your life, reclaim your right to think for yourself and feel and respect your own feelings and intuitions. They're not bad and wrong. And there is help available. You need to let go of this teaching that psychology is of the devil. Um, if you can find a therapist or a support group or start one or go online to these many forums where people are, are discussing these things and there are thousands of other people that have stories to tell, read them and get support. It's very, very important. You need to get well. And then the next one is get clear with others. And this is where it's a coming out process. And people that I've known who've been gay and lesbian, often there's like a double coming out because they've had a hard time in the church because of that. But even people who are not, to finally come out and say, I am no longer a believer, can be very huge within a family system, a neighborhood, a church system, a small community. And to get labeled or judged or shunned as an atheist, as if that's directly from hell, 
It's the most persecuted group that we have actually in our country. So for you to actually be honest with your parents, be honest with your family, friends, and so forth is a, a process and you may need support with that. You may need to find out about how other people have done it. You may need to do it gradually. But what we have here is a tension between integrity and intimacy. And you may be very scared to lose relationships. And that's the intimacy because, of course, you need your connection. You need your family. But you also need your personal integrity. And so at some point, you're going to feel this as a really strong urge to say, this is who I am, and please see me for who I really am and then find how you're going to do these, how you're going to balance these two things. And then let these other people have responsibility for their reactions. And they will have reactions of all different kinds. And they will go through stages and so forth. And it'll be OK. Ah, what's the next one? The next one is get a life. <laughs> and this means you need to rebuild. You need to. Uh, on, on the basis of your newfound values and beliefs and ideas about who you are, your identity. You need to rebuild your identity. You need to rebuild your ideas about uh, what life is about um, and what you're going to do for career and um, all the decisions you need to make based on your own thinking and what you want and your own needs and not just trying to find the will of God. And that's a pretty big thing, taking responsibility. Um, the next one is get with the program. I'll say this quickly. Get with the program means welcome to Earth. You're part of Earth. You're not going anywhere. Um, welcome to this family. This is humanity. Welcome to humanity. You might want to join us. You might want to find out what we're doing about social causes, justice, environment, change. You know, help us. Don't just expect Jesus to come back and fix everything. We're here now, and we need you. <laughs> and then the last one, and I'll end with this, is get your groove on. You are uh, welcome to have pleasure now. You don't need to wait till the hereafter. Go out dancing. Have a drink. Have a party. Uh, enjoy sex. Enjoy pleasure. Enjoy nature. It's not fallen and bad. Just be here now. This is our world. This is our life. You can be alive now. And welcome.